Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to address the question, why are two negative numbers always positive when multiplied or divided? Now, it's an interesting question, and uh, we'll use a, a, an illustration or two to kind of answer that question. So if you have, for example, a negative 3 times negative 5, what you want to consider is on the number line, negative 3, you're starting out over here. Now, anytime you have a negative sign, it always tells you that you're changing direction in terms of where the number is going to move. So you're, if you're starting out with a negative 3, that means you're moving to the left. You've, you've, changed the right, you've changed direction to move leftward. But if you throw in another negative number into the mix in terms of multiplying, negative means you have to switch directions. So if you're, if you're already going left, another negative forces you to go in the other direction, going rightward. So that's really part of the rationale as to why two negative numbers multiplied will give you a positive number. So in this case, negative times a negative is going to give you positive, which makes sense because you're now going right. And so negative 3 times negative 5 is going to be positive 15. Same kind of idea if you have division because the concept is still the same. You're starting out with a negative value, negative 8, but when you're dividing by negative 4, that means you are going in the opposite direction. You're switching a uh, path, if you will. So negative divided by negative is going to give you positive again, and so 8 divided by 4 is going to give you 2. So basically what ends up happening is that the second negative will cancel the first negative because it forces you to switch back in terms of direction. So I'm Jimmy Chang and that answers the question, why are two negative numbers always positive when multiplied or divided?